defend it on again to the body. Tony Salam is in the corner. Low blow, but referee doesn't see it. And down he goes, he is out cold. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings, friends. Our regular column again pleases you with another bright selection. On March 14, 2009, in the British Derby, Ola Afolabi won the temporary WBO cruiserweight belt by defeating former world champion Enzo Macronelli. Losing the fight on points, Afolabi cut down the Welsh giant in the ninth round with a powerful right hook. Macronelli's got it, says, oh, I found out what you've got, and I'm not too bothered about it. And that might be a problem for Macronelli. It's quite up. When you're rusty and it's not flowing, then it ease up more then as you're getting the punches out, the forcing thing. You better bring it. You better bend up the middle. He's so anxious to please, he said the fires are still there. Menacingly strong. Maybe he's going to come on strong late in the fight here. Macronelli's boxing has become loose. He's not as tight. His defences are not as tight. These are really dangerous times for him. He's going through a bad spell in this round. He's wilting a bit. Oh! And there's a right hand! Is that going to finish the end? Based in America, has put himself right into the world mix. Well, Ian, I think all the early rounds when Macronelli was throwing much. On March 20th, 2021, a young Lawrence Akali captured the vacant WBO heavyweight title, easily passing the former world champion Christoph Glavatsky. The British giant controlled the fight from the very beginning and right up until the denouement in the sixth round. Inside this range, which is obviously at the moment, as you say. He just... oh, he this guy put aside. Let us... The body. Oh, that's, uh... gonna yeah. Land as he's... I like that then. Realized he wasn't ready and right back to the jab. Set yeah. himself again. Yeah, it's this, it's this. You cannot get inside it. And as you say, you guys can tell, it's that threat of that... Oh, not giving Glavatsky any opportunity. Oh, there it goes. That somehow. Does he know where he is? No, he does not. It's over. Moment to come. Lawrence, the sauce of Kelly. On March 13th, 2010, Marco Hook amused German fans with a quick victory over American middleweight Adam Richards defending his WBO featherweight belt. The fight was already over in the third round, in which the challenger was on the ring floor twice. The second fall of Richards, after a furious series of hooks, occurred simultaneously with the referee's wave-off. Richards Und dann liegt am Boden mit dem Ringrichter und ich glaube, das ist es gewesen. Er zählt gar nicht mehr, er bedeutet ihn direkt, es ist vorbei. On April 26, 2014, young Alexander Usyk did not notice the resistance of the boxer from Ghana, Ben Safoa. The Ukrainian dominated throughout the fight and already in the third round sent the African to the ring platform. Look at their physiques. Forgetting boxing ability. Safoa needs to start moving. Mixing it up well now. Left to the head, then right to the body there. Starting to really punish at Safoa. And chops him down with a left hook. I'm not sure how much he's got left here. Oh, 
May not be long left in this one as Ushik comes forward to finish. Punch around the back of the head there. And Ushik piling on the pressure, not really landing with great quality. But Unsafoa just looks so tired. Well, there's more than one way of doing it, but Ushik in many ways has the more conventional uh, boxer's body. And that's a great combination. Led with the right, finished him with the left. Very, very impressive from Alexander Ushik. We're going to hear a lot more from him. And the Ukrainian fans love that. That was excellent. So not just three fights, three wins. On May 12, 2018, Former world champion Krzysztof Glavatsky easily eliminated the obstacle in the face of the former challenger from Colombia, Santer Salgado, knocking him out already in the first round with a powerful left hook. Krzysztof mówi o tym, że 8 zwycięstw, 22 wygrane przed czasem, 4 porażki. Pięściarz, który Brzygado minimalnie przestrzelił tym lewym Krzysztof. Oj, trafiony teraz mocnym uderzeniem. Santander Brzygado, niesamowicie krótki. I Brzygado, koniec po walce. Niesamowita historia. No i coś się niedobrego dzieje się z Santanderem Silgado po tym ataku Głowackiego, po tym lewym, który spadł na Kolumbijczyka. Jeszcze raz z wielką ochotą zobaczyłbym, jak do tego do... A knockout artist always has a chance. Congolese Lunga Makabu confirmed this truism on May 16, 2015. Losing on points after 10 rounds to South African Tabiso Mtunu, Makabu knocked his opponent out in the 11th round with two powerful left punches. Junior Makabu is coming back, Brian. He is really coming back. Big punch by Junior Makabu! Left hand and he's hurt to be some corner. And here he comes, Junior Makabu on the charge. He is on the rampage now, Brian. This is how we know Junior Makabu. But this seems to be doing nothing to uh, Ilunga Makabu. Now Makabu is looking for the big one now. And one almost has that feeling the big one's going to come for Makabu. Because he's tired is to be some corner. Oh! In five minutes, you do not have beaten the count. Four, five, six, seven, eight. On March 15, 2014, Tony Bellew made a strong debut in the cruiserweight category, pounding former challenger Valerie Brudov hard. The Briton controlled the course of the fight, and in the second and sixth rounds backed up his advantage with knockdowns from his opponent. The spectacular finish came in the twelfth round, when Tony cut down the Russian with a hard left hook. On August 13, 2021, former world title challenger Mike Perez made a bright return to the ring, overlooking the resistance of Nigerian Tony Salam. In the fourth round, after trapping his opponent against the ropes, the Cuban landed a brutal left jab that sent Salam to a hard knockout. Keep it, if Mike, Mike doesn't need to keep this pressure, keep this velocity. Yeah, 
headshot to the body and he wilts like an unwanted tree. Leroy Thomas is off his feet. World of trouble and he's turned his back on Mike Perez. Defended hard again to the body. Tony Salam is in the corner. Low blow, but referee doesn't see it. And down he goes, he is out cold. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. And that's what we're doing here at Legacy, baby. Sensational performance from Mike Perez. What a way to make a statement in the cruiserweight division. Welcome Tony back, Mike Perez. Tony Salam is asleep, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Wonderful stuff from Mike Perez there. Uh. On January 16, 1999, the great Mike Tyson once again reminded us of the terrible power lurking in his fists. After losing the first four rounds to tough South African Francois Botha, Iron finished the fight in the fifth round, knocking out Botha with a brutal left hook. I mean, as soon as he... Now, right there, Mike should have came right up. He threw it right there. This is not even... Way down by his side, and he got... Oh. He's not on, throwing two punches in the 11th round. Oh. 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 Get out of there. First time oh. punch with both. Oh. Now, now again. Oh. Oh. But Tyson just showing no speed. Oh, oh. oh. that's beautiful right now. Down goes Botha. He may not get up. Botha, it's over. It's over. Mike Tyson. Well, you got a great puncher. Fix. Was he lucky? Working his way in. He got people's attention. Made them put their hands up. Take a look. It's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this. Mike steps into him. Bang. He turned his whole body, his hip. On December 15th, 2023, boxing YouTuber Jake Paul amused his fans with an impressive victory over Andre August. Already in the first round, Paul's brutal right uppercut put an end to the unequal contest. For Paul, Who's as loose as you could. It's Jake Paul for him because he does have good footwork. Paul, go to I the mean, body. Jake, Jake moves too much to go to the body. It's a self proclaimed body puncher. Be careful about ducking down. Oh! It's over. He ain't getting up. He ain't getting up. On the 18th of December, 2020, Gilberto Ramirez scored an impressive victory over the tough Alfonso Lopez. Despite a knockdown in the second round, Lopez looked decent in the ring with the favorite right up until the denouement. In the 10th round, after a prolonged attack from Ramirez, Lopez collapsed to the ring floor, prompting the referee to legally stop the fight. Lopez has been fighting orthodox, but he has had those... Oh, the right hand, another left hand. The combinations are coming off of the hook, and they're coming off of the left cross. Zerno is in front of you. Big right hand. You may have a broken leg there. Let's take a look here. He's clubbing blows, and I thought Lopez was starting to come on here. We're getting exciting, but... That on October 15, 2022, in a bout of undefeated Australian boxers, Liam Perro became the author of one of the best knockouts of the year, knocking out his opponent Brock Jarvis in the first round with a beautiful left hook.
on March 9, 2013. Arjanus Mendes got even with Juan Salgado by taking away his IBF featherweight title. A stiff left hook in the fourth round removed all questions about the winner. Aquí están algunos de los eh, momentos lo finales. Y, y fue ese derechazo y el gancho de izquierda que ese, esa combinación. Mira cómo lo está viendo, lo está calculando. Uf, eh, tremendo. Fue el, el gancho de izquierda ahí que lo mandó a la loca. Y móvil lo dejó. Míralo ahí conectado. Miren la quejada. Él sabía que esta pelea se había terminado. Acá. On September 23, 2017, Cuban Uniel Dardakos easily defended his WBA cruiserweight title against Russian Dmitry Kudryashov. Already in the second round, the champion put a fat point in the fight. Dardakos backing up Kudryashov momentarily. He is really starting to open up a crushing right hand down the middle as Dardakos is really unloading. Been more active in his career, having coming off a win back on June 3rd over Olegenu. Durodola. That big guy miss, make him tired. If you catch the shot in the gloves, you don't get near as tired. So make him miss some of those big left hooks he leads up on. Manny Robles was adamant, instructing to the Russian hammer that he wants to double jab. He wants to see more of the double jab from Kudryashov. And a right hand that puts him down. And this one may be it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. The hand speed, this fight's over, Ray. He hit him with that hard right hand. We talked about it. He's a knockout doctor, and they call him that for a reason. This fight's over. The KO doctor has knocked out Kudryashov. You know, Dortikos is a very, very bad man retaining his WBA Cruiserweight Championship here in San Antonio. That was as vicious 